Hi guys, Anton here from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. In this video, I want to show you um, some um, LED animations. These are RGB LEDs and I've programmed them with the Spike Prime. And um, I've been having some fun this afternoon programming all kinds of um, LED animations. And I connected this ring here to the Spike Prime through this um, UART Wi-Fi breakout board uh, that I developed and I'm selling it on uh, my website so you can get one for yourself too and connect every Arduino piece of hardware to your uh, Spike Prime through that board. Uh, today we're going to um, look at LEDs. Um, let me uh, run uh, the demo program. Okay, So this is a simple uh, running light, um, not very fancy. I'm just turning one LED on and turning the previous LED off as fast as I can. So this shows that you can update the display at about um, 30 frames per second. Now the second demo is uh, more interesting because here I uh, made it more interactive and because I change, I'm changing the brightnesses according to this motor. So the LED is always brightest right across from um, this uh, little axle. Um, that wasn't very good, uh, well visible, so I changed that a bit and I um, kept the LEDs on and now you can see I can turn this handle and the brightest LEDs will always be right across from uh, the axle. So this has become more interactive and you can even change the hue here with um, the wheel. Now this is an other demo where you can see I, I uh, made the uh, LED a bit more compact and um, again here you I can change the hue on that wheel and change the direction of the LEDs on um, this motor so that's um, a lot of fun with LEDs I really like the fact that they have so many colors now um, here I have the same again except that the color is now cycling automatically so it's cycling through all the colors while you can still adjust the position of the brightest LEDs and again I want to str uh, stress how smoothly this all runs so there is no stuttering and it's very smooth. So here I'm showing a rainbow and it's um, rotating and I can change the rotation speed with um, the wheel here and the brightnesses again are controlled by this axle and here I am rotating it even faster. I can change the speed now it's almost still now it starts spinning There's a lot of fun here with uh, colorful legs. Can make it rotate even faster. Okay, next demo. Now it's pulsating slightly, and um, I can change the speed of the pulse with this wheel. So I'm going to choose a very slow pulse, and now I'm changing the orientation of the rainbow instead of the brightness with this handle. So. Um, orange is always across from the axle and oh <laughs> that's the end of the program already so um, these are all the possibilities you get when you start playing around with these uh, NeoPixels LEDs um, and when you connect them to a um, Lego robot I'm going to quickly walk you through the code so if you've been watching up to here you're probably interested in how I did this um, so let's switch over to the code okay the code is uh, pretty straightforward um, I, it's here uh, one spy program um, if you want to access the code um, I think the easiest way is uh, through github where there is a repository called LMSU or ESP and in that repository 
I'm um, sharing all the libraries I'm using and uh, developing and all the projects. And so I've done quite a lot of projects um, with this uh, breakout board. And this particular uh, project that I've just shown is called NeoPixel Spike HSL, so you saturation lightness. And um, this particular code here is um, called Spike NeoPixel um, REPL load script. And I'm going to show you now in the Spike program why it's called a REPL load script. Um, what I'm doing here is I have this uh, micro Python script and I put it inside a string. So this variable contains a string with this um, uh, micro Python script and this script actually runs on the breakout board, on the ESP board that also has a micro Python processor and this script um, imports the uh, remote library. So UART Remote is a library that I've been developing with a friend to facilitate communication between two uh, MicroPython um, chips and this UART Remote is running on both the Spike Prime and the, um, uh, and the ESP uh, breakout board. So um, I'm importing that and I'm also importing the default MicroPython NeoPixel library. Um, it's included, no need to install anything. Um, this goes on a bit. Um, and I'm defining some commands to um, set pixels. Uh, it's all pretty simple stuff. Um, initialize the pixel array set the pixel at a certain position, um, write the pixels from the buffer to the LEDs, um, paint the complete buffer or paint a list of colors. And once I've defined all these really simple methods, I'm adding the methods to the UART remote um, class. And after that, I can run a loop that just listens and waits for any of these commands that I'm sending from the spike and then starts painting the pixels. So once I've um, defined this script here, I import uh, UART remote also on the spike side of things and I create a new UART remote. It's plugged into port F on my model and just printing here so you can see in the console below what is happening. So it said you were initialized just there during the video. Um, then I, using the UART remote, I um, activate a REPL. So it's um, um, read and execute program loop, I think that's what it stands for. Basically, REPL allows me to run MicroPython code um, on the ESP breakout board from the Spike Prime. So to test this, what I can do is just um, remotely run a print command and it will print REPL tested, which will be uh, returning and if I print REPL tested again, it'll say REPL tested here. So then I know that my um, remote execution of Python works. Now the next thing I do is I run the whole main Py, the whole uh, script here. Um, I print loaded script to see if that worked. Oops, yeah, so loaded the script and then I can start my program. I have 12 LEDs on my ring and um, for every demo I want to update all the LEDs 500 times and there is also um, if I write a buffer with 12 times zeros so that's 36 zero bytes that will turn all the pixels off. So um, 
put that in a constant. Now, once the script is loaded, I can run a main loop. So this will bring the ESP breakout board into a loop. And so it won't reply in that loop anymore, but that's okay because once this loop is running, I can be calling commands using the UR call. So the first command I'm calling here is init pixels, and this will execute the init pixels method here, uh, which needs a length of, um, of for the buffer or the amount of pixels, and the pin, the default pin, is uh, pin four. Now once um, all of that is initialized, I can start this running light. So the first circle uh, running light. Uh, for this, I um, have um, a loop that runs 500 times because that's what I uh, defined here. And um, I'm taking the modulo of this um, number here. Um, the modulo 12 of that number, so i will be a number that will um, go from 0 to 11 and back to 0, back to 11, so it will be some kind of running light. And um, I'm using this uh, feature here to create a buffer with first 0 times 3 zeros, then my color, I think it was purple, and then the rest of the zeros. And once I've created this buffer, I can paint the buffer uh, through the uh, UART remote call command paint buffer. And I'm sending this byte buffer over raw, so no encoding, decoding. And this is pretty fast. It does 30 frames per second. Now, um, then once this loop is done running, I am painting an empty buffer with all zeros to turn off the LEDs, wait for a second and start the next demo. Um, for the next demo, I'm using um, a hue saturation lightness, which is easier to program than RGB. So this method here, um, I found it and I adapted it a bit, um, will create three RGB values based on a hue between 0 and 360, saturation between 0 and 1, and lightness between 0 and 1, and uh, will give me RGB values back. That is nice if I want to um, control the brightness of the pixels. So this um, loop here, again, it runs 500 times, um, changes the brightness of the running light depending on the motor position. So I'm reading the motor position here, um, taking a modulo 360 to get nice numbers between uh, 0 and 359. I'm adding 180 degrees because um, that's the way my axle is pointing. And um, I'm converting it to uh, radians here because I'm using a sine function to uh, make it gradually go lighter and then darker again. And, and so on and so on. So I'm making continuously more complex and more interactive um, loops here. Um, I copied all of that and expanded it until, let's scroll all the way down to the rainbow. So. The rainbow works like this. It's a pulsing rainbow. So I set the pulse at zero and um, I use the, the right wheel here on my construction to um, change the pulsing speed. So the more you turn the wheel forward, the higher the number that it is added to pulse every time. And then pulse is, um, converted to lightness using a sine function. So this um, gives us a nice pulse and a controllable speed. And the, the hue here, uh, the direction of the hue is controlled by the motor on top. So the little uh, gray axle. Um, 
it is offset by 170 degrees and it's also um, the direction is reversed so hence this minus and then again it's modulo 360 to get these numbers between um, 0 and 359 and then for the U I can um, simply set the U in portions of um, 360 so um, I go through all LEDs and depending on the angle of the hue offset and the current LED this calculates the hue so this will create uh, the rainbow once it has gone through all LEDs and the buffer uh, will be built up from all the rainbow colors with different hues full saturation and pulsating lightness and once I've filled this buffer using this for loop I can paint the buffer um, using the call command so um, running this uh, again okay um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video I had a lot of fun uh, creating all the different um, LED patterns um, and uh, making them interactive these uh, neo pixels are a lot of fun I have them in circle shape I also have them in uh, flexible shape um, and I plan to do uh, to light my robots in the future using um, these uh, interactive pixels um, hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're inspired to um, use color and uh, lights on uh, your future robots too. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.